Greetings and welcome to Cyber Focus, your source for international business information. My name is Matt Locke, and our guest today is Dr. Kamal Karishki. Dr. Karishki holds a degree in finance and management from Bosphorus University in Istanbul, a master's degree in international relations from the University of Kent in Canterbury, England, and a PhD in international relations from City University in London. He currently serves as a TUSIAD senior fellow and is director of the Center on the United States and Europe's project, Turkey Project at Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C. Dr. Karishki has written numerous books and articles related to the Turkish foreign policy, EU-Turkish relations, and immigration issues. Today, Dr. Karishki will be speaking about the importance of strong U.S.-Turkish economic relations. Dr. Karishki, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So to begin, can you give us an overview on the uh, Brookings Turkey Project and how TUSIAD supports business development efforts between the U.S. and Turkey? Uh, this is a position that I was uh, invited to fill in January 2013. And w what we have done since then is uh, we have run a Turkey policy paper series. This is a series where we commission uh, academics and experts to write about six, eight thousand words on uh, various aspects of American-Turkish uh, relations. And then I have worked on a number of uh, projects, uh, and one of them that I think is most pertinent to U.S.-Turkish relations is uh, how Turkey could be included in the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. This is a, 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 a a very important project in the sense that it would uh, increase Turkish-American economic relations, but this would also be a vehicle for strengthening Turkey's ties with the uh, transatlantic community. Uh, another project that we've worked on is uh, the uh, Syrian displacement project, and we're currently working on a project that's focusing on uh, on. Uh, regional security in the South Caucasus. And again, this is a, a project that relates to uh, geostrategic issues, particularly issues to do with getting the energy resources of the region out onto the uh, world market. And we're also running a number of conferences and seminars. And I uh, just to give you an example, in uh, February, uh, mid-February, we had a conference that was really very well attended on Turkey's economic transition. And the conference focused on a World Bank report that was published in December last year. The main speaker was a World Bank official who led the, uh, uh, the preparation of the report. And uh, the... Uh, the uh, the focus of the uh, report and the, f the conference was what are the policies that Turkey needs to adopt to be able to come out from what it is what is called the middle income trap. Uh, the, uh, the report and the conference highlighted how well the Turkish economy did until about two, three years ago, but that since then it has been stuck in this middle income uh, trap. And uh, I think this has a very important relevance to, uh, to the United States and to re economic relations with the United States uh, because the report and the conference advocated that Turkey should uh, adopt a number of reforms, precisely the kind of reforms that would make investment in Turkey uh, very interesting, uh, not only just in Turkey but also through Turkey or using Turkey as a stage, staging post, it, open, it would open up the uh, neighborhood to American companies and American in, uh, in investment. So what are some of the uh, key considerations uh, affecting U.S.-Turkish relations today? There are two very important issues that uh, relate directly to Turkish-American economic relations. One of them is uh, this idea of uh, including Turkey in uh, the TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. This is a partnership that is currently being negotiated between the United States and uh, the EU. Uh, it is still far from being uh, completed, but it is the sister partnership to the uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership. 
and if these two partnerships can actually be put into place, it will create an integrated economic uh, zone that would account for almost two thirds of Turkey's, uh, of I'm sorry, of the world's GDP, and close to half of the world's uh, trade. And uh, for Turkey, becoming part of this is very critical because a large chunk of Turkey's foreign trade is held with the European Union. Now, if uh, TTIP is negotiated between the EU and Turkey is excluded from it, this would uh, create what, what uh, experts or technicians called trade diver uh, diversion. Uh, and uh, it means that uh, Turkish companies operating in the European Union will lose markets to uh, American companies. And then uh, there is also, because of Turkey's customs union with the EU, American companies will be able to export into the Turkish market, but Turkish companies will not be able to export to uh, American uh, markets. And this imbalance risks undermining American-Turkish political relations. And, uh, I weaken the, uh, the uh, motivation for Turkey to support American policies in the neighborhood. That's the TTIP part of it. The, uh, the customs union is an arrangement that the United States supported back in the mid-1990s, which created a customs union between Turkey and the European Union. What that means in, uh, in a nutshell it means that Turkish manufactured goods are considered to be EU manufactured goods, meaning when a Turkish car or a refrigerator or a TV set produced in Turkey is exported to the European Union, it is treated like a European Union product. And uh, this has uh, culminated in a situation where almost 50% of Turkey's trade is with the European uh, Union. And it kind of creates a bond between Turkey and uh, the transatlantic community. And maintaining that bond at a time when there is chaos in uh, Turkey's neighborhood and when Russia and Iran are trying to expand into this this neighborhood, geopolitically, it's very, crit uh, very crit critical. And uh, uh, very recently, Turkey and the European Union have agreed to upgrade this customs union. Upgrading the customs union means that new sectors will be added to it, like agriculture, services, and public pr procurement. And if, uh, if this upgrade can be negotiated, what it means is that it's going to bring economic growth and employment to the European Union, but also to, uh, to Turkey. And if the upgrading of the customs union and inclusion of Turkey in TTIP can be achieved sim simultaneously, uh, what you're going to end up with is a situation where these three players are going to reinforce the process of bringing about economic growth and economic uh, development. So you'd mentioned uh, different things about the neighboring uh, countries. What effect has the uh, conflict in Syria had on the Turkish business environment? One of the few maybe positive outcomes from the conflict in uh, Syria and Iraq and also in Ukraine and uh, Crimea is that Turkey's exports to these markets have started to fall. And as exports to these markets have fallen, the importance of the European Union has increased for Turkish businesses, including the United States. So this is 
pushing the government uh, away from earlier policies of, uh, of uh, drifting away from uh, the European Union and the United States to adopt policies to re-strengthen its ties with the transatlantic community. And the end result of this is, uh, is that this creates, could create opportunities for American and European business, but also from the perspective of American foreign policy, it means that Turkey can become a more reliable ally in this very difficult uh, neighborhood, and it also means that it increases the chances that Turkey will introduce political and economic reforms that will uh, uh, support uh, the uh, transatlantic way of governance in the sense of emphasizing the rule of law, emphasizing liberal markets, and emphasizing liberal democracy as opposed to the, uh, uh, call it, Russian way or the Iranian way of uh, governance. So for American businesses looking to invest abroad, what makes Turkey an attractive destination? What makes Turkey an attractive destination for American businesses is that you have direct access to the European markets. There is an American company that comes, for example, take Ford the car company invests and has invested uh, in, uh, in Turkey. It has built a, a, a factory that, uh, that produces uh, different types of cars and these, these cars are then exported to the European uh, Union as Turkish uh, products. And some of them are also re-exported to the United States. But also what happens is that companies that have invested in production in Turkey then gain access to markets in the neighborhood that have free trade agreements with Turkey. One example is Georgia, for example, in, uh, in Turkey's neighborhood. It's a small market, but nevertheless, it's a country that is trying to develop close relations with uh, the, uh, uh, the West. Another country with which Turkey has a free trade agreement is Israel. Uh, so it, that gives an opportunity for these products to be exported into Israel as, uh, as well. Is there anything else that you would like to add that we didn't get the chance to discuss? What I would like to add is that if the transatlantic trade and investment partnership is actually negotiated and concluded and put into place it's going to be uh, it's going to have a direct impact on growth in the united states because demand for us products are going to increase in europe one reason that it is going to increase is not simply that tariffs on American goods uh, are going to come down, or let's say remaining tariffs are going to come down. But what is much, much more important is that there is going to be a mutual recognition of regulations so that when, for example, a Mercedes car is manufactured in Tennessee, that car will, it will become possible to directly export that car to the European Union without having to adjust its specifications to European Union regulations. What in effect this will mean is both for American companies as well as European Union companies, the cost of producing goods is going to diminish. And as that cost diminishes, the price is going to become more uh, attractive and with, with that there's going to be greater production and greater sale and the return effect of that is greater profits but also greater employment. Well thank you Dr. Krishti for speaking with us today. Yeah, thank you. That's all for this edition of Cyber Focus. If you have any comments or suggestions for future topics, please contact us at ciber at indiana.edu.